Hello everybody, Iron Man here. Welcome to episode 4. And today we're going to move from using the basic motor commands uh, to drive our robot to actually swapping over to the differential pilot, which I showed you a little bit of in the last episode in the documentation or API. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete all of this stuff here as we won't be needing that. Just press uh, backspace or delete depending on your keyboard. And uh, we're going to do just a little bit of pre-work here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to type new with the lowercase n, and we're going to press space, and then project, which uh, if you named your project uh, .java file or something different, like let's just say test or whatever, um, you would type that exactly here. And then you want to do an open parentheses, and it'll autocomplete uh, and close parentheses. And then what you want to do is press semicolon, which is directly to the right of the L. And you don't need to press shift or anything. You can basically think of that as the programming period to end statements or sentences. Then we're going to put our cursor here and press enter or return, depending on your keyboard, twice. And then we're going to do uh, public with lowercase p. And then project, just like here and here, or test, or whatever you want to just call it. We're going to do an open parenthesis. It'll autocomplete the closed parentheses. Move your cursor to the outside, press space. And then uh, you'll see to the right of the P key on your keyboard, uh, you'll see that there's uh, this brace. And what you want to do is you want to press shift and then that key. And you want to make sure it has uh, that little itty bitty bit sticking out the back. Then just press enter or return and you'll be there. So what we just did um, to explain this a little bit is when the program starts up on the EV3 it needs something to call so that you can start running. So uh, this method, uh, this insertion point you could say is this main method here. Um, and we just threw in a couple motor commands in episode 2 and this time what we're actually doing is we're creating a new and then calling the constructor uh, of this class and that calls this a uh, public and then the whatever the name of the file is uh, is the constructor here that we typed so basically we're just saying from our insertion point call this and that will allow us to do just a couple more things uh, than we typically would be able to do. Uh, and that's how you want to use it primarily. So what we're going to do here is, uh, actually we can delete uh, these import statements here. I just I click the little plus sign there and I'll just hit delete or backspace. And then I'm going to type differential pilot with the capital D and a P and it's all one word, so no space. So D I F F E R E N T I A L. And then P I L O T. And then I'm just gonna. Basically, that says, okay, this is a differential pilot object here. And so I'm going to then say, what I'm gonna refer to it as is a pilot. So I'm just gonna type pilot with a lowercase p. Press space again. And then press the equal sign. Uh, it should be right next to your delete or backspace key. Um, this does not do what the typical equal sign in, you know, your calculator or whatever does. Um, this actually assigns this uh, variable pilot to whatever is on the other side of this equal sign. So we're going to do a new, very similar to how this works, and then space and then differential pilot. And then uh, it's basically the same thing here, except what we just we just don't have the return variable of the class that uh, this is calling the constructor of, and you don't need that there anyway um, for what we're doing. So uh, referring to the documentation, uh, what we need is an open parentheses, and then in the constructor part you saw that it was the wheel diameter. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be, so I'm just going to say 
inches. And uh, since this is a decimal value and not a uh, integer value, uh, you want to press F there, which says that it's a float or floating point, meaning the decimal place is not only here. And then we're going to do a comma, and we're going to type in a track width of, let's just say, 6 inches. And as this is not a uh, floating point value, I don't need to press F and add that to there. Now I need my left motor, which from previously I believe was the A motor. So we just do motor.a, and you can see it called an import statement automatically on that. And then we want motor.b for there. And of course, end it with a semicolon, which is your period. And then uh, you'll see that it's still got like this error symbol under here. So what you want to do is you want to click the symbol here, and it'll give you uh, something to fix that, which is an import for the differential pilot. You can double click this, like that, and you'll see that it imported the Lighthouse Robotics Navigation differential pilot. And now it's not throwing up the error. This warning here is just saying that the local variable pilot was not used, um, and we're going to fix that in just a moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our cursor here, and then press enter, or return. And then what we want to do is we want to just say, move our robot forward. So we're going to say pilot with uh, just like this variable here that you named. And uh, currently it's erroring right now, but that's just because we haven't completed our statement. Press period or dot. And then you'll see that it's going to autocomplete everything here. And let's just say we want to move forward 12 inches. You know, just a foot. Pretty easy. So we just say travel as that's what we're going to do. Press enter or return. And then as we used inches here for our wheel diameter and our track width for wheel spacing, uh, we're going to use inches here. And we're just going to type in 12. Now it will automatically calculate based on the wheel diameter and the track width how far to rotate the motors. And so all you have to do is say travel and it's very powerful that way and that's not really what the uh, previous drag and drop of uh, the LEGO uh, standard firmware and you can start to see where this becomes much more powerful when I show you the rotation method <laughs> so we're going to type pilot again and then dot or period and then start to type rotate Oops, I'm just type that rotate and it's going to ask us for an angle here. So let's just say you wanted to do a perfect 90 degree turn. You just type in 90. Bam! It'll do 90 degrees, uh, provided that you have these values uh, configured properly. So uh, with this, this used to be very, very hard uh, to do with the EV3 and the NXT and that kind of stuff because there wasn't a way with the motor blocks to do this. With this, you just say, okay, drive forward 12 inches with our travel method. And then we're going to rotate 90 degrees. Done. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to save this. Uh, as you can see, those little purple bits are indicating like uh, what isn't saved and what's been added. And so there's uh, two ways of doing this. You can either do Command S on the Mac, Control S on Windows, or you can go over here to this little uh, floppy disk. Uh, some of the younger folks might not know what that is, but basically think of that as pre-CD uh, stuff. And you can just click that as well, and that'll save that. And those little purple bits will disappear. And then what you want to do is you want to plug in your EP3. You want to click on this here. And then you can either click this which was what we did from previously, the run from there. Or you can do run as Alejos EV3 program, which I'll do there. And then that will compile it, um, basically make it so that it can run on the EV3. And then uh, it'll output here to the console saying that uh, it's created and it's uploading. And obviously, I don't have an EV3 plugged in right now, um, so it didn't find it. But with yours plugged in, it should find it. 
Um, so yeah, that was how you uh, start to get a little bit more advanced and away from you know the standard drag and drop uh, programming, and where you can actually start to see its power uh, with using Java and Lighthouse. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!